Right. In 2012, we started to work with the Colorado State Forest Service and created a 10-year land management strategy to mitigate a lot of our forests, which are about 600 of the 1,000 acres. Then in 2013, we discovered firewise.org, which is a nationally recognized organization that uh, helps to uh, protect people and their properties against the hazardous wildfires. Uh, we became part of firewise.org in 2013. In 2014, we worked with the Colorado State Forest Service to uh, get funding, 42,000 federal state grants. Uh, in 2015, this year, now we're mitigating our fuel breaks on two sections of the roads. This is some of the forest product that was generated from the fuel break. Uh, we've got over 10 cords of firewood material right here. Uh, you can see it's all various sizes. The prescription was to remove product over three inches in diameter versus masticating all of the product on site. And uh, that was just to, one, to have some better utilization uh, and generate you know, local economies in this area. But it's also to remove some of that uh, fuel loading from the forest itself. Um, we estimated roughly, I would say, 130 cords of wood to be generated from this, both fuel break treatments. Um, and so this will be picked up by a firewood wholesaler. It helped our contractor keep his costs low for the community and uh, doing his work here. One of the things I really love about this, Carly, is the way I view it is this is previously hazardous material in the community and now it has value in the marketplace. So not only are we making the community safer, but we're doing it economically. Mm -hmm. So our land management strategy has seven land management recommendations. The first three have to do with wildfire mitigation. And we also are looking at restoring our aspen groves, doing soil erosion control, and replanting or reforestation in some areas of the preserve. So what you see behind Carly and I are the effects of the high meadow fire 15 years later. This is an area of high intensity burn, and this is exactly the fire you don't want to occur through your neighborhood. This is what we would call a catastrophic canopy fire, uh, virtually total canopy removal. Uh, you can see that there was a historic presence of trees in this area, uh, but at present only the grasses and shrubs, shrubs have rebounded. Um, there's really not a seed source on site anymore. The soils were relatively sterilized immediately after the fire and now that there's not a seed source uh, this site is probably going to need to see some planting to start regener regenerating conifers on site. So what you see here is fire scar. This is the effects of a ground fire running through the area. This is, uh, there's no internal damage to the tree. The tree is still pretty healthy. Uh, and this is what you want to see as opposed to the effects of a catastrophic ground fire that we see today. I think once people see the end product, they really get a visual as to what we're trying to do. There have been several members of the community that once we started the project and they started to see the end product, have called either the board or the State Forest Service or PNA Tree Service who's doing the work and they want that done to their property. It really looks beautiful. An open park-like setting just like we were trying to do uh, with our pre-settlement goals. So we're actually standing right along the boundary of the fuel break. Uh, so over here to my left you can see what the treated fuel break looks like afterwards. Um, and then on this side of the boundary, you can actually see the forest type that we were dealing with uh, prior to treatment. Uh, you can see a high density of ladder fuels. Trees are very close together. Um, the landowner in this case, he owns on both sides of this boundary that we're at and he liked the look and also the safety of the fuel break so much 
that he decided to have us go ahead and mark the whole lot for mitigation. And that's the kind of momentum we were trying to create in the community. Once they saw the final product and the aesthetic beauty that was maintained, it just wasn't clear cutting trees down. We're trying to create that open park-like setting. And once they saw what that looked like, they really responded with their own marking and mitigation, which is really terrific and what we want to see. Yeah, we've had a, quite a response with voluntary defensible space inquiries um, and just general thinning on properties. My advice to other communities is get educated on the subject. There are several resources at the Colorado State Forest Service and firewise.org. Take the initiative, plan your work, and work your plan. The entire project has really been a great cooperation between the State Forest Service, the community, Elk Creek, the granting agencies, PNA Tree Service. So it's really been a, a great project overall for the community. For more information about forest management and also wildfire mitigation, uh, you can visit the Colorado State Forest Service website at csfs.colostate.edu and also the Firewise Communities USA is another really great source of information.